Hello everyone. I recently had someone ask me to make a video about Corvallis, Oregon, and I really hope I am pronouncing that right. I'm going to be driving from Silver Falls State Park, which is where I'm at now, to Grants Pass, which means that I kind of have to go through Corvallis, not really because it's a little bit out of the way, but it's not too far out of the way. So, yeah, I'm going to go check out Corvallis, and hopefully this video will not be boring because it is just me by myself, and it's just a town, and I'm not sure what all there is to do there, and it is raining. I mean, it's raining here. I don't know if it's raining there. We'll find out. Let's go to Corvallis. I made it to Corvallis, which is the proper pronunciation. I looked it up and it is raining um, pretty bad actually. Corvallis is a city about 45 minutes southwest of Salem and it has a population of about 50,000 people. So it's not too big and it's not too small. And honestly, it reminds me a lot of Grants Pass. I've noticed all the bike racks have roofs on them, which is like really kind for the rain. People's seats won't get wet. One of the fun things to do here in Corvallis is to take a tour on your phone. It's a scavenger hunt with 16 challenges. You walk about two miles and it takes about one to two hours to complete, but it's a good way to see the town and learn stuff about the town. I really like this place. It's a really cute downtown area. There are bookstores and coffee shops and restaurants and breweries. There's theaters here. They're, they have like an indie theater and stuff like that. And they have murals all throughout downtown. Um, maybe not all throughout. I mean, I, I saw like two that were very noticeable, but I think there are more than that. Maybe they have a waterfront park or something because a river does run through town and usually when rivers run through towns they have a waterfront park. Check out this bridge we're gonna cross. I got water all over my camera. <laughs> this is where Google Maps brought me. I <laughs> don't think this is a park. Um, we're like at a college. Maybe I'll just park the car right here and walk. But look at my phone. It says I'm at the riverfront park. Because, yeah, this does not look like an official river parking lot. So this is just a bike path. I don't think there's anything to see here. They have to have a public place. Maybe it's on the other side of the river. I don't know. There are also some wetlands near here. They're called the Jackson Fraser wetlands and I do want to see that. So I'm going to look that up, but I also believe there's a covered bridge. So yeah. Let's find the covered bridge and then the wetlands because I love wetlands. The covered bridge is right over there. There's nowhere to park, so I just parked in front of this footpath. There's not a place to park on the other side of the bridge. And this is just a road. I like all of the scraggly trees, like the scraggly mossy trees. They kind of make the bridge look cool. You can't see the river from the bridge. There's no windows. I can hear it. Oh, there it is. Rushing below us, that's kind of scary. Look how high the water is and fast, and you like can't see it. It's freaky standing in the bridge and hearing the water, but not being able to see it because it's loud and it kind of echoes in here. Yeah, it looks like people have made a trail down to the water. Listen, so scary. Ah! Yeah, not a single car has driven by since I've been parked here. On my way out just now, I noticed there was a sign that said authorized and emergency use vehicles only. So I guess that's why no one drove by while I was out there. I didn't know. Google Maps told me to, okay? I was just following the map. I made it to the wetlands and I am the only person here. It's already very wet. I bet it's gonna be extra wetlandy because of all the rain. Uh-oh. Okay, this is a bit flooded, not too deep though. I mean, it's a little deep. Ah! My socks got a bit wet. I have waterproof merrells and they are not waterproof. Look at the water surrounding the boardwalk. It's just so cool. There's something unique about wetlands. Which way should we go? Maybe it's a loop. We'll just continue on this way. Oh, but look at that way. Okay, we're going this way. Listen to the sound here. Can you hear the water? This is probably my favorite part of Corvallis so far. And this is literally just right, right in town. Not in town, but right on the edge of it. Oh, I love it here. 
And look at this. Look at this boardwalk. This is the most amazing boardwalk I have ever been on. I'm sad that the rest of the family is missing this. I'm glad I am not in the south where there are alligators. <laughs> Otherwise, I might be kind of scared. Oh my god, this place is amazing. Okay, I, there are no words for how much I love this place right now. If it was not winter, I don't think this place would be nearly as fascinating. I feel like I'm walking on a lake or something. I don't know. It just feels surreal. I wonder how deep it is. Like if I if I were to just step out into it and wade through it. There's a sign right there that says stay on boardwalk, which means that in the summer I do not think that it is this flooded, which means that I came during the right time because this is pretty cool. I loved the wetlands. I am so glad I came. So I recently spent the entire weekend at Silver Falls State Park and because someone had requested me make a video of Corvallis, I was like, yeah, you know, I'm kind of in the area, so I'll do it. Though I didn't think that it would be that interesting because it's just a town. These wetlands, literally like, this was the highlight of my trip. Like out of Silver Falls and the cabin that I stayed in and everything, I think that the wetlands were the most interesting thing that I saw all weekend. And if I hadn't come here, I never would have known. That just goes to show that like, even if a place seems like it might not be that interesting, it might not be, but then again, it might. And you just never know until you go. And so, yeah, that's the motto of the month, kids. You never know until you go. <laughs> I guess that concludes this little tour of Corvallis. I'm sure there are probably still a ton of things to see in this area, but that's all that I have time for today, and that's all that I really know to do today. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I am gonna go find coffee, and then I'm, I've got a long drive home back to Grants Pass. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. See ya.